What's up guys, here we are with the fly cap. We're going to start putting this together and building it. As you can see, nothing's actually glued or put together at all. That's just it, but together bare. I'm going to have to add everything onto it, do everything now. And um, this is my next project to do. Get this little thing built up. So here we go. Hey guys, here's the fly cat. It is probably about 95% built because I don't actually have a receiver for this, so I'm waiting for that to come in order. And once that's here, I can actually finish it up, hook all the servos together, and then also do the uh, control services because I haven't cut them out yet till I get the actual receiver. But it looks quite uh, flush and nice. Pretty nice looking. Uh, one thing I changed about the sticker layout. I added my own little sticker there. Originally this here is supposed to be on this side, but I just thought that looked cool. And then um, for now, the way I'm going to work my uh, cockpit, there's no magnets. It just sticks on for now. I'm going to get like a hair tie and just like wrap that over the head. We'll do the job. And then if we look on the other side, I have two black stripes to hide, try and hide the wires and like the extra tape here. Try and make it look a bit more flush. And the two servers are there. And we got the little tail server tucked up in there. And it all looks it looks pretty good. I'm actually quite excited to give this they fly, it's kind of pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, again, like, got a 500 watt motor on there. I don't know how much wattage or whatever I'm going to get out of that, but I'll do a speed meter test when I get the new receiver and everything. And hopefully, uh, this will be uh, my fastest plane. But anyway, guys, there's the latest update. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm here with the uh, fly cap. Uh, I've just finished my assembly build of this. It's probably taking me all in all an hour to put this whole thing together. It just took a little, little bit longer because of the box glue. I tried using um, super glue at uh, the little top of this stuff. And um, I used it on these parts and it actually melted the foam. So I wouldn't suggest using any cheap super glue, maybe specific stuff, but I used epoxy glue, maybe a bit heavier to use, but I want it to be nice and solid since this is going to be a fast plane. And this video is basically about some of the modifications I've done from doing a little research on the internet reading the forums. Basically, um, what I said, these two tail struts here, they're quite weak. And easy to break so uh, I took the advice to put slipping some carbon fiber down them each side, glue a bit of hot glue gun down the sides and on the bottom. So it has quite a bit more strength now, it doesn't wiggle about, it's quite solid. And also I'm not sure, the front piece is apparently a bit weak as well, which I don't know. But um, I basically took a carbon rod and it goes through this piece here like right through, I just shoved it through, put a bit of hot glue going in there, shoved that on through, and then I put some glue on the bottom, stuck it down, and then it goes all the way to like the end of the tip. And also, um, one thing about these planes that I also read on the forums is that they don't actually meet up quite well with the parts. So like here I had like a big gap, so I filled it in with glue, so it didn't cause any problems with the airflow. And I added a little bit of uh, 
covering the scheme on the bottom so I can tell the bottom from the top. Uh, the stickers are pretty good, they stick down very well, very easy to put on. The only thing I've changed with the stickers is I've added my own sticker here, or tiger, and I made that one from here to there, so it looks, it looks better I think. But um, hopefully I shall be able to give us a fly soon. I'm just waiting on my next order to get a other receiver for this plane. And once I've got that, I shall update you guys with a flight video. And I hope to put quite a few out there because there aren't so many videos of this plane with a push uh, prop setup. It's mainly EDFs. But um, I'm running a 3550 kV motor here, Tenergy 2218. And um, it's rated at like 500 watts, so once we've got it all hooked up and everything, we'll do a uh, test on this watt meter and we'll see how much power we're pop popping out of this little baby. But uh, until then, guys, uh, this is just an update video on my uh, flight cap. Hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe. What's up, guys? Just, just an update on uh, my latest perch to perch. Perch, oh, fucking hell.